wanted to share with you guys the new synthesizer that I made, and it's a little pocket drone synth. Um, it has six independent voices here that can, can be controlled by um, these pitch knobs right here, as well as the switches that terminate the oscillation. Um, and it allows you to isolate the voices as well as um, stop any bleed through that might be happening um, in the main power source. So uh, you can get a really crisp sound and you don't have any buzzing in the background. And uh, these three each are uh, mixed together with two XOR gates. Um, and that gives you, can give you, depending on the pitch, is um, a very metallic, um, gritty or clear and kind of almost a pulse width pulse switch, a pulse, pulse width, a modulated pulse width, um, which can give you from some really awesome sounds. Once these three are mixed with the XOR gates, um, they're mixed normally through a voltage controlled attenuator or a VCA. Um, some may call it a voltage controlled amplifier, but what this does is it completely clamps down and shuts off um, the audio signal unless you're sending a voltage um, via this ca capacitive switch right here or um, from an LFO that I have built in on this little knob right here. And that voltage, um, whether it comes from either of these, can be shaped um, by an envelope generator, a very simple one that's just an attack and release that's controlled just by this one knob. And so the attack and the release phases have a symmetrical and direct relationship. It's, it means when you lengthen the attack, you're also going to be getting a lengthened release. And then the LFO um, can be varied from about a third of a hertz. So it goes um, through about one cycle in about three seconds to about 20 hertz, which is about 20 cycles per second. And, um, and the capacitive switch here can um, be set to either just a momentary um, push button, basically, or a toggle mode, which would be like a lat latching push button. And so then the output of the VCA, um, it then goes through an active second order, fully resonant, voltage controlled, low pass filter. I know that's a mouthful. Um, the, the cutoff knob here determines, um, this cutoff knob right here is um, not only the on off switch, but it um, also determines the uh, highest the threshold, the upper threshold of voltage that controls the filter which is fed by either the mains voltage or it's fed uh, by the, the LFO as well. Um, and the amount of feedback that goes um, into, the, uh, into the filter is controlled by this resonance knob right here and is amplified, which does make it capable of self-resonation, which is also a great feature, um, adding those really spacey sounds to it. And um, of course, what um, allows it to live in such a teeny tiny little box here is that it has just um, an old uh, 3.8 volt lithium ion battery which comes from an old cell phone and uh, you can recharge it via this little port right here um, with any USB 5 volt power source. Um, but other than that uh, it has a ton of sounds that can come out of it even with um, the limited amount of, of controls that are that are um, available to you. Let's just take a quick peek in here real quick. So I love jamming things in uh, electronics into teeny tiny little packages and you see that um, I've definitely held true to that on this one. Um, I salvaged uh, this this audio jack here um, from and uh, the old cell phone. I believe it's actually the same cell phone that I took this out of and um, underneath here, I just have a little charging module, the uh, TP4056. And, um, and I also have these trim pots here to, um, to help really dial in the, uh, the filter um, to make sure that my resonance and uh, cutoff frequencies are just where I wanted them. Um, but other than that, um, it's a pretty simple little device. Um, it is my first... Uh, drone synth that I've made so it's you know it's it's still a little bit based towards uh, modular synthesis which is what I uh, I got my base my roots in for for um, electronic design but uh, it is uh, still a lot of fun and something that's uh, you can just put on your headphones and really uh, 
kind of let it do its own thing and, and enjoy it as kind of like an ambient background noise. If you want to hear this uh, fully resonant filter, all we got to do is crank the resonance up a whole lot. So you've probably guessed already that this is the schematic here for um, the drone that I created. So you probably guessed this is the schematic. Um, this, these, it's, it's very simple, um, and I would love to say that I uh, made it all myself and just came up with all of these ideas uh, independent of anyone else. But uh, um, I borrowed heavily from um, many different sources and kind of, um, you know, just squished everything together that um, is really simple um, and easy to to use into one little and one little bit um, I got um, a lot of information from um, Hackaday um, there is um, some some great articles called uh, logic noise that uh, that do this uh, this whole XOR um, gate right here with these XOR gates as well as um, making just uh, simple square wave oscillators with these uh, Schmidt Trigger inverters and um, as well as this uh, VCA um, setup right here where you just have two opposing diodes and um, and sending a control voltage um, through and um, and to the middle of them and, and letting the uh, the oscillation of the control voltage um, let through the 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 audio, um, really great, simple design. I managed to to make um, a dual VCA, you know, about the size of my thumbnail, um, which is essential for getting everything to fit in this tiny little package here, um, as well as um, this uh, this filter down here, this uh, fully um, resonant filter. Um, I got from uh, watching Moritz Klein's video on YouTube. Um, if you're into making uh, low-pass filters, he has um, a great series, and honestly, all of his videos are worth watching many, many times. Um, he's fantastic at um, explaining things as simply as possible and really delving into the, um, the analog world of electronics um, rather than just relying on Arduino and, um, and writing code to get um, really complicated sounds. So, um, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to spend all of the time that it takes to explain how this goes together. Um, if, if you guys are curious, if anyone would like, you know, me to explain what's going on here, um, please ask me in the comments and I'll, um, I'll try and put together a video that is maybe a little bit more comprehensive as far as the circuits go. Um, but if you guys would, uh, like to just go ahead and build this as is, Please do. Um, I'll give you maybe a little bit more close up here as far as what's going here with um, the schematic. Um, I've tried to put values on everything. Um, you know, of course, the oscillator section is pretty simple. You can kind of make it those values, play with it, make them whatever you want to. Um, and, and, you know, you'll get different pitches. Um, as far as. Um, 
the uh, the mix of the audio that comes into your resonant filter. Um, I just kind of made these as large as possible and, and made them trim pots so that I could control kind of whatever I wanted to at the time um, because I was working, of course, with uh, the very small battery source um, voltage less than I'm used to. And uh, so I kind of just made things as adjustable as possible. Um, but it turned out pretty good. Um, as far as the battery life on this guy, um, I have only had to charge it once, and that's when I was doing uh, the first prototyping of the circuit um, on the breadboard. I was using the uh, the battery here as my uh, as my power source, um, and I was just wasting power very very uh, willy nilly because I was you know trying to figure out how to put the circuit together. So um, I I didn't really consider that a good. Uh, test of how long this battery was last would last and um, I'll probably put maybe like seven or eight hours on this thing and um, I haven't checked the uh, the uh, voltage with a multimeter recently but um, seems to be doing great um, the battery has a built-in um, discharge protection circuit so it cu cuts off at a really um, safe I think it's 3.7 volts that it cuts off at um, and the the charger here, the USB charger has its um, an upper threshold that it cuts off at about 4.2. Um, this battery is rated for 4. Point, um, it's supposed to be charged up to 4.3, so undercharging it a little bit, um, as well as cutting off the uh, the discharge at a, a high voltage, really, I, I feel really safe doing this. Um, you know, if, if you guys ever want to try you know, doing your own power supply with uh, recycled lithium ion batteries. Um, be sure to, to do lots of research and make sure that you're um, within the, the ratings of the batteries, but otherwise it's it's a great way to, uh, to make your sound machines portable. Um, but otherwise, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You take care. probably hear that rain out there. It just started dumping. There we go. Now we can send this LFO to the cutoff, so that'll vary the amount of, uh, of voltage that it is allowed to use.